An Indiana organization taking a stand against the spike in violence against Asian Americans. It falls in line with marking one year since the coronavirus became a global pandemic. News 8's multicultural reporter Katira Winfrey brings us that story. The Indiana chapter of the Asian American Women's Forum has been collecting signatures for a petition asking the governor and other leaders to publicly denounce violence against Asians, but are also hoping the governor will consider creating an advisory board to get direct feedback from Asian community members. At the beginning of 2020, we first heard about a mystery virus wreaking havoc in Asia. The mystery was eventually solved, and on March 11, 2020, coronavirus was declared a pandemic. Ellen Wu says she was celebrating the Lunar New Year with friends when the coronavirus news broke. I don't know if I was prepared, but I, I have to say I, I expected it, and unfortunately, my expectations played out. She says there's been a long history of xenophobia and negative associations associations with people of Asian ancestry when it comes to disease. Something told her this virus would push that to an even bigger scale and says crimes against Asian and Pacific Islanders are growing. The organization itself is focused on racial justice, um, gender concerns, health care and those kinds of real, you know, substantial issues I think that matter for Asian Americans and other communities of color. She is a member of the Indiana chapter of the Asian American Women's Forum. They are behind a petition headed to Governor Holcomb's office asking that he condemn violence against Asians and take steps to create support measures. It's already gotten more than 1,000 signatures and two dozen other agencies have endorsed it. Indianapolis Jewish Community Relations Council is one of them. Honestly, because hate affects us all. Um, and when one uh, one community is being harassed or harmed, it's an attack on all of us. The Jewish community have also reported spikes in hate crimes over the last few years and says it's important to stand in solidarity on issues like this to hopefully rid the world of it. Just having that support and feeling seen and heard is so important. Wu says the petition isn't asking for more law enforcement, but long-term cultural competent ways to deal with the issues. Now you can find out how to sign the petition inside this story on wishtv.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Wish TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey. Katira, thank you so much. Governor Eric Holcomb's office just sent News 8 a statement reading in part, anyone that seeks to terrorize or cause fear needs to be held accountable for that. Racism is counter to Hoosier values. It's not what we stand for. There is no higher priority than the safety and security of Hoosiers.